How's it going everybody? Decisive TV here. We're back for another video on our Let's Play World. So today we're gonna get right into it. Um, I set up a little thing over yonder. Uh, if You know what? I should have started the episode over there, but we're a little bit silly sometimes. Okay, we can see it right here. So I built up the terrain a little bit and I laid out a little circle there and usually whenever somebody lays out a circle like that they're going to build a tower right for the most part so we're going to build a tower but it's not going to be a tower tower it's going to be a lighthouse and that should look pretty cool uh, right there on the the stony shore looking out towards the sea and the rivers and everything like that and over by our base in the river and everything like that so it should be pretty cool i like saying like that a lot i guess uh, but yeah, so the last episode, we actually built this bridge over here and I honestly, I didn't really plan it out too well. And, uh, I, I kind of, I, I really like how it looks. Um, and I was also looking at it a bit, a bit closer and, uh, I, I actually, I do like how this looks and I think, it's going to work with what I plan on doing along the shore here and uh, on both of these sides and everything like that. So wonderful that that happened to work out. Uh, we can. OK, that's just my character. No, I thought something else was behind me, but um, I didn't really work on it too much after the last episode in the thumbnail. I actually noticed uh, a couple blocks missing. So I just put in the cherry stairs and that sort of stuff, uh, put in these stairs as well. But um I've been trying to keep up with the vines, but they go a little bit crazy sometimes. So I think I'm just going to let it do its thing, like especially right there. Yeah, it's just, you know, I'm going to let it do its thing, I guess. But uh, yeah, so the bridge, we can actually use a boat and go underneath there uh, if we so choose. But um, I think it, like eventually I wanted to build boats along or like in the river maybe or like out at the sea uh to give kind of more of a life to our let's play world here but uh, i'm not very good at making boats so we would have to see how that would happen but uh actually do i have the stuff on me i have a little bit of redstone stuff on me because i want to make uh this lighthouse but i need red dye for it and i also need white dye but we have Quite a bit of bones. Actually, I don't even know if we have enough bones. Uh, we'll probably be fine. Maybe. Uh, so, yeah, I wanted to build the lighthouse right here. Because eventually we're going to have like the house. And, like I was saying this a couple of episodes ago. But we're going to have the houses and everything. Like that along the shore here with the dock. Uh, so I also wanted to put in some boats like out, out in the river. Because this is a freaking big river. I'm not going to lie. Like this is a wide, wide river. So... Yeah, and somehow drown spawn in it, so I think it's technically C, the biome is, but, you know, I'm not going to question it. So, the the boats are going to be, like, laid out right here and, like, out over there, so I'm probably going to have, like, I don't even know how many boats I want to have, probably, like, six or seven around here, um, maybe more. We'll see how they look, how big they are, because I'm also going to have a few small boats, I think, uh, just... Because, you know, that that's how real life is, real life work. So, uh, but right now, in order to build the lighthouse, we need red dye. So, I'm going to go ahead and just plop this stuff down, I think, actually. We'll do that, and then deep slate. So, I think how we can lay this out should be pretty easy. Uh, maybe we just do this right i think and then we should be able to uh i need a couple sticks darn it hey having to make sticks because i know oh okay uh have we oh my god we have gotten cooked chicken i haven't even checked that thing i'm not gonna lie to you guys okay so i think we can just do the i need two more reds so you gotta be you gotta be kidding um can I just do, can I do something funny? 
Can I do that? No, I can't. That wouldn't. That would not help my cause. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna gonna put a lever lever there. We'll uh chill. Uh, we'll just go back to the base. I guess I gotta grab another piece of redstone so that we can make that clock. Cause I want to have it like super duper quick. Um, cause all we gotta do. Also, does anybody else get kind of confused by the cherry door sound? Yeah. Yeah, that one. That sound. How it has like the... It sounds like... I don't know if it's because I've been playing Minecraft for a long time or what, but it sounds like the old door opening sound. So I always think that the door is accidentally getting opened somehow, which kind of sucks. But, you know, at the same time... What can you do? Oh my god, what is going on with my game? Okay. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, redstone. Uh, does anybody know any uh, like solutions to ADHD? Brain or ADD? I don't even know what, what I have. I have something that gets me distracted really easily. Which kind of sucks and then I forget what I'm doing. But what can you do? What would you do for a clock? Am I? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'll be right back. Okay, so we can just do that. And then we should be able to do that. And yeah, that's super quick. Okay, so... um, All we gotta do is just put down this rose bush. And then we can convert some of this these bones into bone meal. Flick that on real quick. We'll just stay here and... Yeah, let those go out. Okay. Perfect. Perfection. Okay. So now we got 30 rose bushes, which is certainly enough, I believe. Yeah, that should be a good amount. But uh, I also have 34 levels. And I kind of want to use them. So I made a couple pickaxes here. And we are going to hope for the best. Okay, well that is certainly not the best, but you know what? I will I will take it. Actually, I guess we could Do I have an anvil in here? No. I'm silly. I don't have an anvil in my enchanting area. What is wrong with me? Also, the thumbnail for that episode, I guess was really really good. Every <laughs> the the click through rate on that video was kind of wild, and that's like one of the most I'm going to put this sapling down. Uh, that was one of the most viewed videos in the series that wasn't like episode one through three. So interesting, but um, Anvil. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. And we're going to call it John. John picks pick. Uh, actually, yeah, John, John scene pick scene X. John Cenex, <laughs> you guys can't even see it. Where where did my pickaxe go? Oh no, oh boy, funny, funny bit. Am I right? Okay, well, uh, now that we got, uh, sorry, my keyboard is doing something really weird. My keyboard has been acting up. I don't know why. I think I might need to do something with, like the. I have a Razor Huntsman Tournament Edition keyboard, and. Uh, actually, I, I might know what the cause is, but I'm pressing one of these buttons and it's like it's holding it down. Like it's almost like sticky keys, except the buttons aren't actually down. So I don't know what's happening, but uh, wait, what? what yeah, okay. So red, concrete, powder, where the flibble flop. Oh, I don't have the, the gravel on me. Silly goose. Uh, gravel. Okay, and then we should be able to make red, concrete powder yes we'll do that so this should definitely be enough um i don't know why it wouldn't be uh also i should probably put that there we can do that okay um yeah so this should be enough red concrete uh in order to do the lighthouse but at the same time uh, I kind of want to, hmm, 
Do I want to keep it as red concrete powder, or do I want to... Do I want to make it into red concrete? Because it might actually look a bit better if it's concrete powder next to uh, white concrete, I think. Because uh, I, I think we're going to do like kind of a candy cane sort of lighthouse. And also, it is very close to Christmas. Uh, so I, I guess it's kind of in theme, even though we're not making it specifically for Christmas. Sorry. <laughs> but uh it's okay so let's go ahead and make some white concrete powder do i have i should have more gravel somewhere right i only have four do i really okay wait yeah that's right gotta put all my stuff in here instead uh okay i guess we'll do that sorry organizing uh and then we'll make white concrete powder okay well you know what perfect i made a lot more than i thought it was um i'm not i haven't built a lighthouse in a while so this is going to be a very interesting build but uh okay so the white concrete powder i actually probably want to turn into full white concrete so we're just gonna plop down a little a tiny little water sprout right here and all we got to do is just this yeah okay epic gameplay i'll be right back with you guys whenever i get all this converted all right so uh going now now that we have the the white concrete done made into actual white concrete and not the not the powder so um I'm kind of thinking maybe we do something like this. I kind of, I've been trying out the, this design. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, but I guess we'll see. Um, so four, one, two, three, four. Okay, well, I'll, I'll be right back with you guys whenever I get, but I get a bit more of this done. But now you guys know how, how I'm kind of building it the process of what i'm doing so we're just gonna see how this works out okay so i am realizing that i absolutely flubbed this up so we can't do four and three because uh well i don't i just don't think that will work because this is completely messed up and i am oh i'm so mad at myself for it so it has to be like this one, two, so that, that works, I think, wait, we'll see if I, I fixed it, I doubt I did, but above that, four, so take that one down, two. yeah, okay, so I think we just need to drop it by one all around, so, okay, I think I figured it out, actually, or at least an easier way of putting it down the three instead of making the white before but also everything's gonna freaking drop into the ocean but okay i will see you guys in a second okay so uh it is about an hour later <laughs> and i decided to finish it up so uh it, it's a little bit interesting um I made it a lot taller. So whenever I ended the clip, it was about right there ish. And so I, or maybe about right there, but I just extended it a bit more. Now it looks a, a bit better. Uh, it's more proportionate to the top. So I think it works out pretty good, but the, uh, the top. So, uh, I want to go through there. I want to put some walls down. I think, uh, make it, kind of connect so the iron doors aren't just kind of floating there sort of but right now it looks pretty good as is um up there i put some deep i used a bunch of deep slate and spruce uh because it kind of contrasts a little bit to the uh to the uh, white and red that we have on the sides but going all the way up just used a bunch of birch because i have a bit of birch wood that I'm not using so I thought it would fit in pretty well with the walls and everything like that in here um, but going up here 
Uh, as you can tell, there's a bunch of observers and they're going around in a circle and that's going to be for the redstone lamps that we put in here uh, eventually. Um, might go grab that here in a second actually. Uh, need to get some glowstone that is. But yeah, so it's just going to be spinning in a circle like so. Uh, and there are two different timings. We don't have it uh, at the, the same time, sadly. But uh, at the same time... Yeah, uh, lighthouses in real life, they kind of have like two sort of things. If I had a webcam, you would have seen me do a weird finger movement and I would have like switched. You know what? Never mind. Uh, so if you look up like lighthouses in real life, a lot of them have like the single light beam coming out of them. But some of them also have two going different directions uh, so that, you know what? We're going to just say it's a double lighthouse beam because I, I don't think I'll be able to get the timing down uh, for the same on both of these. But yeah, so that's quite a bit of observers we have in there. Um, we can fall out right, right there, as you can tell. So we got to be a little bit careful. But um, for the most part, that's pretty pretty decisive proof I think so we just got to get the lights put in there and then we'll have light lighting up here uh but besides that I think that about does it for the lighthouse build I, I put in an iron door up here um had to put in a button kind of looks a little eh but I think it works uh I put in a few lanterns to light up the inside in the inside here Maybe we'll go through. I don't really have any ideas on what to do for the interior of this place, but maybe we'll figure out something eventually if we need a use for it. But I put a water source right here because I was getting very tired of uh, having to run all the way back down or like falling down because that took a bit of my food and durability on my armor. So just put that, put that water there, save a little bit of time. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and go into the nether. I got to get some of this glowstone. Uh, can I even look up the recipe in my book? I don't... Have I even gotten glowstone? I don't think I have. Let's see. Glow. Wait, no. Redstone. Nope. Can't make a redstone lamp using my book yet. So we'll just... We'll go into the nether. We got to gather up some glowstone because we need better lighting sources. <laughs> And glowstone is, uh, okay. There's a there's a batch that we could probably get pretty easily. Do I have any blocks? Well, I can get some really quick. Okay, don't look at that Enderman. I'm getting PTSD from the first episode in the first ten seconds of that video. Okay. So we'll just hop up here real quick, and then we will. Uh, go ahead and gather up some of this glowstone. I I'm, can't remember exactly how much we need. I think it's four, four each. And so using a fish or fortune three, we should get pretty well four out of each of these. Maybe if we're getting lucky enough, but I don't know. I, I can you even get five. I don't know if you can get five out of glowstone okay where's our there it is little pillar okay let's go around here gather up the rest of this because i don't want any of this to go to waste even though some of it probably went into that fire now that i think about it unfortunate what can you do what would you do for a con dive bar they would say okay so now that we actually have that um should be able to look it up right what? Wait, does it take a redstone or a glowstone block? Redstone lamp. Yeah, so it takes four redstone and a glowstone. Okay, that makes more sense. All right, well, let's head back. We got to make, oh my God, how many do I have to make? Three on each side, so nine per layer. 36 total? Wait. Okay, we need more glowstone. Oh, no. <laughs> See, this is where having a silk touch pickaxe would really come in handy, along with gathering up stone. Because 
in a lot of builds i end up using a lot of stone either for stone bricks or just using stone for terraforming i really want to get a silk touch pickaxe but this would also make it come in very handy because then we can just get glowstone blocks and we don't have to craft the the glowstone dust we could just take it uh oh 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 I gotta get that last one. <laughs> I gotta get it. I know I'm at like four hearts and I should probably heal, but I really want to get this. And if I die, it's more entertainment for you guys. Oh my gosh. Of course, uh, the item had to like goob and fly away. Okay. Well, we will head back now, right? I can head back. Yes, I can. Perfect. 44? I'll take it. I will take it. Um, we have... Yeah, we have enough redstone. Okay. Uh, I should probably go mining again at some point. Because we are starting to run a little bit low on some resources. Such as... Such as... Iron. Iron, uh, oh, we should actually probably go mine some more nether quartz. I forgot how much I used for the, uh, the, uh, da, 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 observers. Okay. Um, redstone lamps. So we need, how much? 36, I think is what I said. Four more. There we go, and... Yeah, we're also going to have to go get some more redstone. Uh, lapis, we're, we're good on. I have three stacks there and a bunch more over in the enchantment area. Diamonds are okay. Uh, but yeah, we just we need to get a lot more redstone and a lot more iron. Oh, I actually, I should probably make an iron farm now that I think about it. Because iron farms are pretty OP. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, so yeah, we should probably make an iron farm sometime, maybe in a, a couple episodes, maybe next episode, I don't know, but I gotta remember that. I gotta remember to do that at some point. So, all right, let's go back up to the top of our lighthouse and put in these redstone lamps and see the magic happen. Okay, see the magic happen. I should also probably put, like, a, a guardrail or something along this. Because that's dangerous. All right. So all we got to do is put three on each side. Like so. Boom. Perfect. Do this. Oh. Wait, what? Wait. Three... Wait, so that's nine eighteen. How did I miscalculate that bad? What? Wait, so th oh, it's 12. 12, not nine. Oh my gosh, you guys were probably screaming at me being like, decisive, you're grabbing the wrong amount of glowstone. Well, okay. Uh, you know what? That's part of it done. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'll go back into the nether and I'll get some more glowstone. I'm sorry. Okay, we are back, and we got 12 more glowstone, or 12 more redstone lamps. These things are honestly kind of expensive, uh, since we don't have a, oh my gosh, since we don't have a glowstone farm or anything like that, it's a little bit of ex expensive. So there we go, perfect. We got the lighthouse actually being a lighthouse and not just a house. Okay, beautiful. All right. Well, I guess we will see what it looks like at night time. Uh, so I guess I will be right back. So then we can look at it and see the the circulating redstone lamps up there. Wow, that looks so glorious, so beautiful, nice. All right. Well, I'll be right back with you guys once it becomes night time because I want you guys to see it as well. All righty, guys. So. Uh, we're back and it is nighttime, fresh night, and man, that doesn't look too bad, I'd say. I think that looks pretty lively. 
Um, I mean, just like from here, I, honestly, it's not that overwhelming. I thought it was going to look a lot cooler, but now you guys get to know it looks like a lighthouse. <laughs> it does a little spinny and you can see the light on the outside does a little spinny as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess we can go see what it looks like over from the bridge. That's probably a pretty important spot to be able to see it from, right? If you're in a boat, possibly. Wow. Wow, what an aesthetic. What an aesthetic. It also put something right there because it was looking very plain over there, pretty barren. So, yeah, okay. Well, I guess that's going to do it for this video. Um, if you guys did enjoy it, remember to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new here. Appreciate all of you watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.